first, it is an early flu season, so we're seeing earlier flu start and earlier flu peaks this year than we normally do. And what this is doing is coinciding with increases in RSV, which is a common disease in infants, also with norovirus, which is a common cause of GI illness, vomiting and diarrhea. And so the confluence of flu, RSV, other viruses, as well as norovirus, are really filling up ERs and filling up hospitals. Well, each year in the wintertime, we have the peaks of a bunch of different diseases, influenza, RSV, which is another viral disease of infants, other respiratory viruses, pneumonias, norovirus, gastrointestinal illnesses. They all occur mostly in the wintertime. This year, a lot of them are occurring right around the same time, and with an early flu year, we're getting more influenza overlaying these other diseases as well, and that might explain why a lot of ERs and a lot of hospitals are having lots of patients uh, come to them. Some of these diseases that occur in the wintertime and that are occurring right now, like flu and pertussis, you can prevent with vaccination. Rotavirus is another one. You can prevent that with vaccination. A lot of the things that are occurring now with cold viruses, with other respiratory viruses, you can't prevent with vaccination because there's no vaccines available. For those, we recommend good hand washing, stay home when you're sick, avoid other people when you're sick to keep from spreading those viruses. Those are the best ways to protect against all these viruses, in fact.